And we should be live. Alright. How's it going, guys? x man do here. We're back on another episode of Avengers Craft. Last episode... What did we do last episode? Last episode was episode 3. Oh, yeah. We have our pet. Oh, yeah. Our pet. And we made our farm. We get started in the shopping district. So, a lot has happened within the, the week that I... Uh, that I did not record the Avengers Craft. You see, the shopping district has really grown, and I have done a bit of stuff. So, I went netherite mining, you know, usually. Uh, Jacob is living in my house, and I'm getting started on our maps. And I'm gonna just have all those maps all put in one place. And I also got a trident, which I'm gonna probably gonna use for trident surfing. And pretty much, I have a lot planned for this season. So to get started off, we our base has, if you notice, our base has, has changed. And we've lost a bit of stuff because uh, there was a death. And the new shopping district has really changed. This is Farron's store. I don't know what it is actually yet. Um, this is David's food shop made a, out of a... Die, right? In 69 hours. And there's just mud everywhere and food. Now, the next store is my store. Now, here's the thing. This looks... It don't... I, you can tell me it looks really bad. Look, because look at this. This is my rockets. And there's 32 you know, um, rockets for one diamond. 32 rockets for 64 iron. And our stock is low. And I know it's early season to start selling that, but I'm definitely going to be prepared for when this all happens out. And then we have um, we have uh, the enchantment book st store. There's Fire Aspect, Fortune, and Menti, which is really good. And yeah, basically our shopping district has definitely evolved from last time you all have seen it. And you see, this episode, we have a lot planned. Not a lot planned, but we just have a good amount planned. Now, this episode, as you can see, oh yeah. Also, oh, we have an, our uh, friend, David Wizard. That's his house. And yeah, just had to point that out. Yeah, but basically a lot has changed, and we have a lot planned, because a few things have been going on. Now, to start off, we have changed a bit in this house, and what else? I have these books, and I need to deliver these books, because, um... You know, because these are going to be important for an event that we'll be doing. Not event, but like more like a uh, little thing that'll be going on. Now, if I read this, this will be, it'll say this. Dear reader, you are invited to the underground facility in a secret location that will be made soon. You, we will contact you when we are ready. And it was signed by your host. And I have three of these, because three people will be getting these. For a secret thing. And it, I will be delivering these. Because a few people need the, to get this. Now, as we deliver these, I will just tell you guys that we have a few projects in mind. You see, we're going to be starting another a, two new stores while we're out here today and for starters let's place our first one place it in there okay that was the first one you have to make sure they see it and next on house will be pretty far not that far though but basically we will be um, we will basically just be building some stores because we're going to need some diamonds 
like a lot. I also need to go ancient debris mining because me and Jacob have a plan. We're gonna be starting a store that will basically get make sure that we can, you know, we're restarting a store so we can make diamonds. Because who doesn't want to make diamonds, right? That's just the thing about the season that we're hoping to accomplish. Now, we're going to have to, you know, do some sneaking around, sneaking, snooping, because of a few things. And uh, we have a few, maybe because over here is actually an area that I won't be able to enter, because it's classified to enter, based off of what um, Ben says. You see, Ben, this is Ben's base. He has barely gotten to work on it yet. Actually, he, not barely, he has just touched it a bit by adding a fence and turning it and retransforming just this whole village, which is actually very impressive. And because I cannot enter the place, you know, I gotta be a little stealthy. I, hang on, is he inside? Oh, thanks, inside. Okay, I'm just gonna... I saw his name tag. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, hang on. Oh, I'm being followed. Uh. Oh, frick. Oh, frick, oh, frick. I gotta take off and run. Oh, no. He's here. Okay, he wants me to follow him. I'm guessing. Hey, I only just replace this gate. All right. We have one more book to deliver, but eh, we don't have. But we're gonna be waiting to deliver this book because this will be given out pretty soon. All right, we're waiting at the gate. I don't know why. No trespassing. Ah! We gotta run! Hang on. Run! The Avengers facility. Freak. Run! I'm out. I'm out. Jeez. Okay, well, we escaped that area. But that's not the case at the moment, because right now, our main goal is to basically, you know, just make it to where we can get started on, you know, most of our, most of our stuff. And here's the thing about getting started, is that we have to make this whole store, like, go according to plan. And that's why we are going to get our friend Jacob in so we can get started on our store. But before we even do get started on that, I actually have another store in mind. Oh, no. He's still trespassing, isn't he? Ah! He's after me! He's after me! Oh, my God. No, 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 no. I thought that was Jacob. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, I, th I don't know if I lost him or not. <laughs> he, just, he chased me from the northern region all the way to central region. I don't know if he's still trying to chase after me or not. I'm scared. Okay, well, that, I think I lost him. I think he's not after me anymore. So anyway, now that we got that out of the way, we need to get set up on our store. Because, well, I actually have a plan. Now, now that we're at home, I need to grab all my copper, and I need to grab all of this. And now, maybe a few, a few people could guess what I'm doing, which, if you probably do, by seeing this video, you're prob you could be correct. I don't know. I would never know, actually. But I am going to be making, well, you know, a store, obviously. 
But the thing about this store is that it's very special. Oh, no. People are still trespassing, aren't they? I don't want to be followed. I'm hoping I'm not. Uh, that's whatever. But anyway. I'm going to set up my store right here. And I'm going to surround it in copper because, actually, hang on, like, be me being the cheapskate, I'm probably am, I'm going to break this all around it so I can save materials, and I am going start stacking this up and it will be called oh wait hang on here's what I'm gonna do put that in the middle surround that surround that right there right there one two then one two three four one two three four one two three four looks pretty good and this, well, hang on, where's the crafting table? I'll put a crafting table right here, because, yeah, you know, people might need it. This will be called the deal of the day. Deal of the day. The other day, daily deals. All right, and this today will cost three diamonds. And I'll be calling, and I'll call this the rare box. And I'll tell you guys how this works in a second. Alright guys, we're back. And this is go not going to be the original thing. We're definitely going to get changing this up. But, as you can see, I got some more materials. Hang on, I just need to make three more signs based off the rarities. And there will be five different rarities. That will be pretty easy to remember. Rarities. Oh, frick, I... Ah, <laughs> I spelled it wrong. Okay. Rarities. There will be... Common? There will be rare, there will be pretty solid, there will be mega, and then there will be super. A lot of explanation marks on that. And we got it. Actually, I'm going to change the price to... Oh my god, what? To two diamonds. Actually, no, three diamonds. Yeah, never mind. I'm, I'm not changing the price. Three diamonds is good for this. Alright. We got our shop all set up. Again. Food. We got our shop set up and everything. Now, let's talk with Jacob so we can get our shop all ready to up. And I'll be right back as soon as he gets here. Alright, guys, we're back and we got Jacob. What's up, Jacob? Hey. What's up, bro? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna be, uh... We're gonna start working on our ancient debris shop. And, uh, we're gonna have to sort that out, right? Uh, yeah, we do. 
Yeah, we're, we just need to get the ancient debris. Yeah. Right now, right, I'm... So to divide the work... Running, so. Oh, okay. So do you want to get the ancient debris and I get the, uh... And I build the shop? Yeah, I'm fine with that. All right, that's good. So we have all the stuff split out. Yeah, I just need to get the netherite, obviously, because that's what we're selling, so. All right, good, good. All right, I'm going to get started on that, and then we meet up, and then we'll start building. I'll start building the shop, and then you can start stocking it all up. Yeah. All okay. right. Anyway. All right, yeah, we got it. All right, peace. All right, three, two, one. Okay, guys, you guys heard that what we're doing. I'm going to be building the shop, and he's going to be getting the netherite. And I will not let him down, because I'm going to have to build the shop and make sure people shop at it. So I'm going to just gather as many materials as possible so we're ready, and I'm going to get an idea in my head as fast as I can. So, Alright guys, we're back, and we have gathered a crap load of stuff to build the shop. Now, now that we have actually, like, did that mouth grinding, it was pretty quick. I didn't really need to do a time lapse. But it was actually a pretty good amount of resources to get started. Now, I kind of want to go into another world and make a plan on how we're going to make our, sh our shop look good. But I'm just going to guess that we want to make it, like, look kind of nethery, you know? Which I will be giving it the nether vibe. And with the nether stuff that we do have, I'm probably going to maybe using that. And we have all this netherrack. And I forgot what it happens if you smelt netherrack, but if you smelt it, it should turn into nether, like, bricks, right? Because we're probably going to be using nether bricks to... Uh, to our uh, advantage, because well, it's from the Nether, so therefore we want to you know do stuff from the Nether. It's a pretty good idea, in my opinion. But in general, we're probably gonna get a big thumbs up just from making the shop. And I like it. Yep, Nether bricks. All right, so now that we have access to Nether bricks, quick thing that I did managed to find is that there is, you know, I got some nether wart, and I have some soul sand, and I am going to start farming early. And now you see, Baron used to live in here, as you can see. There's a lot of stuff in here. There's, um, drips, there's like infinite lava sources. A whole lot of stuff. But we need to make a room for our nether wart. But I don't know where to put it. So for now, I, I guess I'll just put it right here. It's going to be a very slow and de-efficient way of getting nether wart. But screw it. I'm, I need it. I'll just cover this whole side. And let's just plant all this. All right, and soon enough, yeah, all they will be all grown and ready. And we have blaze rods, too. But the reason why we're going to be making potions, because we just want potions in general to help us with, you know, our, our shenanigans this season. And because of that... We are probably going to use tons of potions, like invis potions or something. Which, I got a few blaze rods from the nether. I'm going to turn that into blaze powder. And while I'm not busy, I am going to start using this to work on my potions, because we're still waiting for that. Everything we need. We're going to get started on our time lapse. And I will see you guys when our final project is ready. Alright guys, 
actually finally finished it. It took a small amount of time. This is only the rough draft of it. I'm going to definitely change a bit up with this store. It's just a little ancient debris stand. And I am honestly kind of proud of it. I, I wouldn't say it's the best build or it's the best shop. But I'd say that it's, it's a good looking shop. I'll say that. I just added a little too many torches. And I'm going to turn these torches into blue torches. But yeah, we have this really cool shop going along with us here. And this is actually my second shop by the looks of it. And I am honestly very happy with what came out with this. Definitely I'm going to be fixing this up um, behind screen. But in general, I think it is pretty good. Um, Jacob will soon start filling up the chest. And, yeah. Actually, okay, so we now have three stores. We Actually, we got a lot of progress done. We really did a lot this episode. And I think we are pretty safe to say it's over. But I have one more thing before we even do end the episode. Before we end the episode, I am going to spend a few dollars, not dollars, diamonds, in the shopping district. I'm going to be down to one diamond. Actually, actually no, I'm going to be down to zero diamonds. I'm going to buy five mending books for all my gear and for one and for my elytra when it, it's already out. And let's just head over. Sleep, hang on, I will. In a minute. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, did I take five? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right, and now I have five mending books sold. Okay. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of Gavengers Craft. Please do leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, bros, I will see all of you later. Goodbye.